welcome back to my channel i know it has been a while that i have shot a makeup tutorial video for you all but hey i'm here and i am here with this wow the orange cranberry a little berry look but before i start with the tutorial don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and the bell button so that you get notified every time I post a video. Also follow me on my Facebook, my Instagram, and TikTok handle so that you know what's coming up and we can be friends, you know? So without further ado, let's start with the tutorial right away. So let's start by prepping and priming our face first. I have already cleansed my face. I'm just gonna moisturize and I'm using my moisturizer. You can use any moisturizer that suits you. I'm using Fresh Rose Moisturizer. Especially if you have dry skin during the winters. Oh my God, the skin gets so dry. And it is so important that you moisturize because that is the key for your makeup to not look cakey. Equally important is taking care of your eyes, especially under eyes, so that your concealer goes on smooth. I'm using Peter Thomas Roth, this product. For my today's makeup, I'm using this new palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills called Primrose. It is a very nice uh, palette, it comes with blush also, so it's really perfect if you have to just carry one palette and go. Really awesome. But before I start my eye makeup, you need to prime your eyes as well. I've got really pigmented lips, so it's very important for me to conceal that pigmentation. I will be using my concealer. This is NARS Creamy Concealer. I swear by it. Just, I'm just adjusting my mirror a little bit. I'm going to just put it over my eyelids really well to neutralize the pigmentation. Now with a damp beauty blender or a sponge, I'm using this Tardy Beauty Little Teeny Tiny Heart. I'm going to just blend this on my lid so that it is covered really well. This step is very important, especially for people like me who have pigmented lids. If you don't cover them really nice, then the color of your eyeshadow doesn't really show. Now they're nice and covered, I'm going to use, this is the Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Powder. I'm going to use my powder brush to ensure that it is staying good. Time for eye makeup. So with a blending brush like this, this is Morphe M441. I'm going to take the color Mango. This is the color. Oh, 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 this is this is the color that I will be using, and I'm going to play up my crease. Always hold the brush on the farther end. That way, you have control over the pigment. Soft, small, circular motion. Then I'm taking the color rouge, which is a really brick kind of color, and I'm starting from my outer corner, just like that, and I'm coming in very light. I like to flick it a little outside just like this with whatever is left in the brush without dipping the brush again into the pigment. Now I'm going to take the color Honey which is a very muted beige color. It's this one and I'm going to use that color right at my inner corner and I'm going to just press the pigment so that I get the maximum color output. Next, I'm taking this color Fire Opal and I'm using this brush Morphe M421, which is a flat synthetic brush. It picks up, I feel, the right amount of pigment for you to work with. And I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to tread a little carefully with this pigment because it is a lot of red like a copper almost so I'm going to take a tad bit of it I'm going to place it in the inner corner of my eyes I'm going to stamp it and carve out that crease with the color and I'm going to blend it at this point I think I need to darken my crease so I am going to go in with a darker color but with a narrower brush not the blending brush that I was using before I will be using a smaller blending brush like this one this is M330 from Morphe and I'm going to go in take the color Claret Claret yeah this one right here play up my crease a little bit because I think it's gonna look 
good. Now I will be taking this color Deep Berry. The name is pretty self-explanatory. It is Deep Berry. And I'm going to just keep working on that outer corner because we want it rich. Now with a fresh blending brush, I'm going to take the color Mango, which is the peachy color, and I'm going to place it right on top of this blotch of color that I have because we will be blending it really well so that you know everything has to come together you know okay now I'm going to take the color honey which is that beige color very light beige color and I'm going to put it right up here on the eyebrow bone what I really love to do once I'm like working on my eyeshadow is to take a clean blending brush I'm using MAC 286 this is a special edition but uh, MAC 286 and this is a dual fiber brush and it has no color now when we are done with this I'm going to quickly do my other eye and I'll be right back I'm back now I'm going to just take these wings off my eyes I'm looking really crazy but it's all going to come together just trust the process I'm going to put a little concealer now I'm going to use the loose powder and I'm going to pat it under my eye just to make sure that the concealer is staying put and then we're going to go in with our under eye makeup so now I'm using a liner, a black liner. This is from KKW Beauty. What I like to do is rub the tip a little bit like this. What this does is your body melts the product and it glides it more easily. So I'm going to go into my waterline and I'm going to line. Now it's okay if you did get some on your skin because I'm going to blend and smudge it anyway. So uh, you don't need to do a really clean, clean Job. With a flat brush, I'm using Morphe E36. It has a really nice tip. It's small, it's fluffy, so I really like it. With that, I'm going to go in and take the color Rouge, which is that brick color or rust color, and I'm going to just blend it with that liner. Now I'm going to take the color Mango and I'm going to work it. I'm going to take a little mango peach color and just put it at the inner corner of the eye. Now it's time for the liner. I'm using this angle brush. This is MAC 266. I'm using Melt Cosmetic Gel Liner in black which is also called Immortal. Immortal. I'm taking a little bit from here. I like to flatten it out right here to give me that nice angle and give my eyes some wink. It's very close to your lash line. take a little bit of that liner again come into my outer corner of the eye okay so let's start with our face today I'm using Charlotte Tilsbury airbrush flawless foundation that's your blank face I will be using again Laura Mercier powder okay let's come to the favorite part of makeup and that is bronzing for my bronzer I'm using Ella loose anything I say about this product is less so this is shade super um, yummy and it's creamy I'm using the brush from Kat Von D this is number 10 always blend out when it comes to bronzing so I put there and then mm, the jaw the nose bring it down here too because it just gives the look of the sunken cheek sunken jaw oh. best part about this product is that you know you don't need to really work hard at blending the product it really blends very easily what I like to do additionally is go on top of it with a loose bronzer and that is my favorite NARS Laguna I take a nice soft fluffy blush brush and I 
just go over it. For my highlighter, again, I'm going to use Ella Luz Superstar this Bronzy. I'm going to use another highlighter to give me a little bit of glow. This is MAC Hyper Real Glow Palette. Really awesome colors. And I will be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills brush A23, which is. Ta -da! And I'm going to use the color. Ta -da! This one. Right here. So I'm going to take that and put it on the top part of my face to give me the glow so tip of the nose bridge of the nose also like to put a little bit here and my clear pits bow for blush i will be using the blushes in the primrose plaid palette palette i will be mixing grapefruit and saddle which are these two colors take a little bit of that grapefruit and take a little bit of the saddle Whoop. Okay, that's a bit too harsh. It's a bit too pigmented. I'm going to take a fresh brush and I'm going to take the grapefruit only, which is the coral color. Boy, are these colors pigmented. Okay, and I'm going to blend it up. A word of warning these blushes are not here to joke. These mean business. I'm going to just work it really well. I'm going to fix it. I'm going to fix it. So, work it really, really well. And then all you have to do is take a little bit of that loose powder and dust it on top of it. it took me by mm, quite jolt, but okay. Okay, time for the lips. For lips, um, I'm kind of thinking of going with the entire monochromatic vibe that is going on right here. I'm going to use Naya Lip Liner from Natasha Denona. After lining my lips, I'm going to use this velvet matte lip lip lip. After lining my lip, I'm going to use this color Nars Dance Fever. This is a velvet matte lip pencil. Really pretty color. Kind of playing into the berry a little bit, but I'm going to bring in the coral too from MAC. I'm going to take this liquid lipstick from MAC called Mademoiselle and I'm going to put it up uh, right at the center to give me the pout and the neon. I'll take a synthetic brush and I just blend it. Ombre lips are such a brilliant way to make your lips look so much bigger that it is like awesome. I'm going to take a little bit more and focus it right at the center. That is where I want the maximum brightness. There you go. There you have the lips. I'm just going to go right off the camera, do my eyebrows, put some lashes, and I will be right back. And I am back. All I need to do is spray with a setting spray. I'm using MAC Fix Plus. It smells wonderful. It helps your makeup to stay put and it makes it look good. And voila, your makeup's done. You are ready to rock that holiday party with your orange glam. If you have any questions, comments, anything at all, don't forget to write them down in the comment section below. Also, hit that like button and the subscribe button and the bell button so that you get notified every time I post a video. And don't forget to follow me on my Facebook, Instagram and TikTok. Till then, this is Debbie signing out. I love you all. I will see you again in my next video. And Happy New Year! Bye!